grateful heart and a song of praise. We come to you gathered in this place for the things you've done and for who you are. We worship you with a thankful heart, with a thankful heart and a song of praise. We've come to you gathered in this place for the things you've done. Amen. With a thankful heart. What a wonderful way to end the pre-praise and worship service. God bless you all for coming this morning, seeing all your faces and the names. I pray that you had a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving, for we know that Thanksgiving is every day. Amen. There's so much to be grateful and thankful for, um, especially in these times. Right now, I'm going to turn this over to um, our Pastor John, we can briefly open up the service as I prepare for the rest of today's Zoom service. God bless you. Amen. Well, thank God for, again, each and every one of you that have um, joined us in another Mount Moriah Community Church virtual service brought to you by Zoom. We thank and pray God for blessing you to uh, not just attend but to get through the thanksgiving uh time period i pray that all went well with you and yours and that if you are home from traveling that god has blessed you to be home safe and sound amen so as we begin the service this morning we thank god that you join us in the song per portion of the uh service getting our hearts and minds ready to hear with us say if the lord 
But the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Habakkuk 2 and 20. Amen. Prepare your hearts and minds for the rest of the service. God bless. Just stand when all your courage seems to fail. Stand when it seems that evil will prevail. Stand for he shows us in detail that his love will never fail and he'll stand with us. Having done all the stand, you just stand. Amen. I just have a few short announcements this morning. I just want, first of all, want to welcome all our first timers and our visitors for coming to Mount Moriah's virtual 
service once again. And um, I just pray again that everyone had a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving. And we're about to embark on another new month, the last month of the year, December. So all you December babies, um, if you have a birthday or if you know someone who is in December, um, please place that information in the chat box. All righty. Amen. Amen. Right now, we're going to go right into our scripture reading. Um, our dear Elder Roy Stewart. Good morning to you, Elder Stewart. Good morning, Sister Jackie. Amen. And Mount Mariah. I'll be reading to you today from the Living Bible, the book of Luke, chapter 12, verses 13 through 21. Then someone called from the crowd, sir, please tell my brother to divide my father's estate with me. But Jesus replied, man, who made me a judge over you to decide such things as that? Beware, don't always be wishing for what you don't have. For real life and real living are not related to how rich we are. Then he gave an illustration. A rich man had a fertile farm that produced fine crops. In fact, his barns were full to overflowing. He couldn't get everything everything in. He thought about his problem and finally explained, I know, I'll tear down my buns and build bigger ones. Then I'll have room enough and I'll sit back and say to myself, friend, you have enough stored away for years to come. Now take it easy, wine, women, and song for you. But God said to him, fool, tonight you die. Then who will get it all? Yes, every man is a fool who gets rich on earth, but not in heaven. Amen. 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 So true. So true. Amen. The word is true to itself. Thank you for the reading of his word this morning, Elder Stewart. Right now, we're going to have our prayer um, by our Elder Rhonda Sheckett. Amen. Elder Rhonda? Can you? Yeah, we can hear you. Go right ahead. You can hear me now? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, Father God, in Jesus' name, good morning again to all the Zoom listeners, to Mount Moriah Community Church. We are so grateful for you have blessed us to come through another day that's set aside to be thankful. But we, oh, Father God, who have been born again, are thankful every day, every day. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Oh, Heavenly Father, continue to pour out your spirit upon us. Make us what you want us to be. We give you glory, honor, and play, praise. We give you glory, honor, and praise, Lord. We give you glory, 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 honor, and praise for making us a part of your plan. Your plan. Father God, continue to execute your plan in our lives, oh, Father God. Grant us the grace and mercy we need to bring that glory and honor and praise to your name. Lord, so we're now time to come in back to you to report, but time and eternity's sake, you we can hear you tell us, well done, how da, 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 done, thou good and faithful service. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Oh, Father God, continue to bless this Zoom service today in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank, Amen. You. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Elder Rhonda, for that powerful prayer. Yes, there's so much to be thankful for every day every 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 day right now we're going to go into our 
um, testimony service, excuse me, I went to <laughs> our word this morning, but I'm going to stop sharing. We're going to open up this opportunity for those who have a scripture, um, a song, um, or whatever God has laid on your heart. And um, uh, John Jr., are you still on the line? John McBride, I see his name. Um, I'm gonna ask Elder Rhonda, if you're still unmuted, um, if you can just um, have a prayer for him. He wasn't feeling well this morning. Um, yes, and he, um, he wanted, he, I told him to just, if you can just listen um, to the service. God will bless your soul. And he's still here. I still, I see his name. Amen. So if you can oh, just pray for him, for him. Thank you. Thank you, Elder Rhonda. Oh, yes. Oh, Father God, as we all touch and agree now for our brother, brother John Jr. McBride. Oh, Father God, his life is in your hands. His health is in your hands. And we're touching agreeing according to your word. You said it won't come back to your void. You promised that two of you shall agree on earth is touching whatsoever. They shall ask the Father in my name. Raise him up, Father God. Touch that body. Touch that body. Touch that body in the name of Jesus. Touch John McBride. Touch him, touch him, touch him, oh, Father God. From the crown of his head. Lord, to the souls of his feet, Father God, in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. You brought him back to us, oh Father, Jesus. for your glory, for your glory. Raise him up, Lord. Raise him up. Oh, raise him up, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, you're worthy of the praise. Praise your Lord. Thank you so much, Elder Rhonda. And we praise God for raising you up. <laughs> amen, 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 amen. You know, sometimes, you know, we pray for so many people. We ourselves, you know, we need prayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. always always and so i'm thanking god for um taking you through your little um little yes, going Lord. through so to speak yes only you could tell a story to that and so we're mm -hmm. thanking god for that and at this at this time since you're unmuted would you like to <laughs> give your testimony of praise and how god has brought you through amen <laughs> Lord, I'm telling you, people do not know the power of prayer nor relationship with the Father, Son, and the Holy Jesus. Ghost. Yeah. God, for the saints of God, thank God for the prayer wheel always turning Amen. and how from one heart to another oh father god yes we are soldiers you, in the same army together all together and we thank wrestle you, not against flesh and blood i thank god i had gone for that second shot that moderma shot and oh boy thank god for grace and mercy grace and mercy grace and mercy amen say and thank god it's behind me now thank in you Jesus amen name. praise god praise god Amen. We can't take anything for granted. Anything. No, Lord. No. We really, really can't. So whenever we praise him at all times, you know, because sometimes you can be so sick, you're unable to even lift your hand. And so we just, we, and God honors the past prayers and the present, and he knows um, about the future. So we have to give him praise at all times. <laughs> Believe you me, you believe you me. And I think yes. while I'm on the line, I just thank God for the many prayers for me. I'm feeling a little better. And I just thank God um, each and every day I, I'm beginning to feel a little better. So I thank God for the progress and continued prayers from all of you. God is so good. He's just so worthy of our praise. And I was reading this morning one of the devotionals, it, it talked about learning to count. And I thought that was just, just an awesome title, learning to count. Learning how to count your blessings. Sometimes we forget how to count. Um, and so um, that just reminded me of how important it is to give God praise and glory at all times. Um, it really 
gets you through the, the situation that you may be currently in. It takes you above how you may be feeling or whatever's going on in your life. God just wants us to give him praise and glory. And I thank him for that lesson this morning of learning how to count. We know we can't count all our blessings. That's impossible. But when you begin to count them, it just lifts whatever is, is, is on your mind at the time. And it just, and you just feel God just coming in and just his just glory and his love and how, you know, it's going to be okay. He's taking care of it. He's, it's in his control. And so I, I thank him. I thank him for um, him speaking to my heart this morning. Um, anyone else would like to share this morning? I just thank God for all the different faces. I see a brother Shane. Oh, God bless you, hon. And sister Rachel, thank you for again for joining us, joining us another Sunday. I pray that all is well. You had a wonderful Thanksgiving, you too. But it's even, you know, God is just, he's just good. And he just wants us to thank him and praise him. And so I thank you guys for coming once again. Um, I'm going to, um, I see our, God bless you, sister um, Whitley. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Yes. How are you? A happy belated Thanksgiving. But as we know, every day is Thanksgiving. God is good. Good to hear you this morning. Good to be able to take part with everyone today. Yes. I just yes. back from church, but still, I got back in time to <laughs> up, up Zoom. So I'm here and I, I'm, I'm not going to read the scripture. I just want to thank the Lord for what he's brought me through this year. And how he spared my son, because he had COVID, and he went to the hospital and stayed a couple of days. But he's home and well, and all is well with him and his family. Praise so God. That blessed, that's something for me to be truly yes. thankful about. Yes. Amen. Oh, Amen. God, everyone, and it's good to know that you're feeling better. And Thank Elder you. Rhonda is better. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We, we, we thank you. I know you're praying for us. <laughs> oh, I, I pray for my my two my two church families every day, every day. All right, now I like that. I like that. And thank you for joining the second service here at Mount Moriah. <laughs> God bless you, Sister Whitley. Thank you for your thank faithfulness. You. Always. God bless you. <laughs> amen. Amen. Anyone else would like to share this morning? Go right ahead, um, Sister Chloe and Brother Austin. Good morning to you. Morning. Genesis 50, 15, 21. Then when Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead, they said, they said, Joseph will pre adventure hate us, and will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, so shall he say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee now, to trespass to thy brethren and their sin, for they did unto thee evil. And now, we pray thee, forgive the trespass of the servants of the God of thy father. And Joseph wept when they spake unto him, and his brethren also went and fell down before his face, and he said, Behold, we be thy servants. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not. For I'm, for am I in a place of God? Hmm. But as for you, we thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass, as is this day, to save much people. As it, as is this this day, to save much people alive. Amen. Now therefore, now therefore, fear ye not. I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comfort them and speak kindly unto them. Amen. That's all right. A story of forgiveness. I tell you, that was a lot to forgive. He could have been harboring that for years, but God touched his heart to be a blessing to his family and to us. Amen. Believe it or not, and to us. Thank you, Sister Chloe. Brother Austin. Amen. Proverbs, Proverbs 20, 18, and 19. Every per <clears throat> every purpose. 
purpose is established by counsel and with good advice make war. He that goeth about as a talebearer reveals secrets. Therefore, meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. Hey, Amen. That's all right. Thank you for the reading of the his word this morning, you two. God bless you. Amen. Deacon Sproul, I see you've been trying to unmute. I'll come back to you when you're unmuted, okay? <laughs> Amen. Anyone else this morning would like to share God's goodness and grace, even if it's just to say thank you, Lord, for another day, for his grace and mercy. Amen. Amen. I hear someone unmuted. Oh, um, Sister Cynthia, God bless you. Oh, oh gosh, what is that? Uh oh, oh there's a yeah, there's a lot of echoing. Okay, Do you have two on. things on? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it off now. <laughs> okay, um, I just want to thank God uh, for answering prayer. I was concerned about my granddaughter Jasmine and her brother. Um, because Jans Jasmine was trying to make it on her own and she couldn't afford it. The place she was staying was what we what the Bible calls a shanty and what we call a shack. <laughs> mm. But you know, I thank and praise God because at, um, the, the landlord shouldn't have even uh, rented it out because it really wasn't rentable. Wow. But nevertheless, um, she's back home with her mom. And I'm so grateful. And she was there preparing Thanksgiving dinner with her mom. So wow. I know God is answering prayer. Amen. And I got a chance to speak to her and Quadri and let them know how much I love them. Amen. That's all no, right. Because really, you really, they need to know that they're loved because they went through so much. And they have to know that I constantly remind them that I love them. And I hadn't been able to reach them lately, but I was able to reach them over Thanksgiving. Praise God. All right. Praise God. Amen. Amen. That just lets you know prayer works. Amen. Thank you for sharing that. God bless you. Amen. Deaconess, you have you unmuted yourself. Praise the Lord. Yes, you hear me? I can. <laughs> Thank God for today. I thank the Lord's family for receiving the Thanksgiving, I thank the Lord for this real. I just want to read a scripture, the 51st Psalm of Isaiah. Hear, hearken unto me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that uh, seek the Lord, look unto the rock, where ye are uh, hewed unto the hole of the pit, where ye are gazed. Look unto Abraham, unto Father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call it him alone, and blesses him, and ye increases him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion, he that he will comfort all that will waste places. And you and in the uh, deserted, like the garden, of the Lord, joy and and gladness shall be formed therein. Thanksgiving and unto the voice of middle. Amen. I thank the Lord for the Thanksgiving. Thank the Lord for seeing you again. Thank the Lord. I'm just uh, on the I guess or piety. Uh, I just I don't know sickness. Sickness. I had the 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 earache, and I just couldn't seem to shake that earache. Wow. Eric, I started praying, started to read the word of God, and it that eased on me. I said, I thank the Lord, you know. All right, now. Because when you're there by yourself, you know, you can, you have God for yourself, and you believe that God will do it, you know, just believe <laughs> it, you know. God will do it because, uh, Nobody there for yourself about time you call somebody up and get in touch with him. True, you know, true. Trust him for yourself. Amen. And he will do the work. You, know? you just don't lose faith. And I thank the Lord today. I thank the Lord for 
our junior degree, uh, I thank the Lord for him. Uh, anyway, to pray him, pray for him, they put it, I get to either take the leg off, or, you know. Wow. And I want to pray that, you know, everything will be all right, that it won't have to. Uh, take it legal because, uh, you know, I said, continue believing him. But if it, you know, it comes to show that we have to take it off, you still, God is so real and you still can live. True, with true, that. true. And I think so. I just want to encourage him, you know, true. to continue believing God. Don't lose faith in him because Amen. he's you. And you can trust him. When you be in, you can do the work. You're able to do the work, you know. And don't lose faith in Amen. him. That can praise him. And God will fix everything all right. Oh, he will give him strength. Hallelujah. To believe him. True. Because he is the only one. He is the only one. The doctors can give you advice, but God can heal you. Yeah, amen. Find my strength in him. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, Deaconess Sproul, for sharing that. Um, you know, that's that can be a difficult task to try to minister to someone who may lose um, yes. a limb. You know, how, what do you say to someone like that? We, we say that God is in control. We say that God can heal, but you know, and he's taking, he may take my leg. But that was, that was something that you, that was very, that was a wise saying that he's, the leg may be taken away, but he's still alive. You know, um, God, he's still um, among us. So I'm praying for you, Deaconess, that you, um, God give you words of wisdom to encourage this young man um, as he is going through this. Um, and yes, to look up, look, focus on Jesus um, and not the, the current circumstance. Easier said than done when you're going through something like that. But God is able to minister um, and open up his heart and understanding um, to what God is doing in his life. Amen. God bless you, Deaconess. Thank you so much. We, he is on our prayer list, um, Brother J Junior Legree, and we will continue to lift him up as well as you and your family. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Robin. Good to see you. God bless week. you guys. God bless you. Happy belated Thanksgiving. Thank you. Same to you all. Amen. I wanted to just briefly share um, how, you know, God has really been uh, uh, working in Sky's life, my baby girl. I've got her home for the holiday. And I don't think I shared this particular uh, testimony with you all because she just found out on Tuesday. But she had an opportunity that was given to her to be a part of a Google tech exchange program. Mm. So initially, which means you would take the classes uh, with the Google engineers, uh, they give you a stipend of $1,200 and, um, and they help you get internships either with them or other companies they work with. Wow. Okay. So initially she had to take a pretest to even see if she could qualify for the program. She completed the, pro the pretest in 15 minutes and scored 100. Mm. So right then now. she had to take that. That allowed her to take the actual test for the program. And there's only, there was only two questions on the test. So the first uh, question, she got 100% right. The second question, she wasn't able to finish before the time was out, but all that she did finish, she got correct. So she was concerned, you know, as to whether or not she would make it in the program. But I said, Scott, and I felt it in my spirit. I said, you got, you've got that. I said, when we trust in the Lord and we believe in God's favor and she all, she definitely puts God first and she Praise spends time God. with the Lord and in prayer, which I'm grateful for with Thank her being you. in college. She still has maintained her relationship with the Lord. And sure enough, she found out on Tuesday. She wasn't supposed to find out till Wednesday, but she found out on Tuesday that she made it in the program. Woo! So God has just been showing up in her life. Woo! And I just give him all That's the glory and honor and the praise. Hallelujah. 
because it's God all together. God It's the favor of God. Yes, you it know, is. we don't take any credit for it, but we just thank and praise God for how he's moving in her life. And that's all praise I wanted to share. God. Love you guys. Oh, and yeah. hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving. Yes. Yes. Well, that was a little, that was the dessert I needed to hear this morning. Ah, God bless you for sharing that there is God is no respect of person. But if you give continue, you just said, um, sis, Rob, if you continue to just give him thanks and praise and acknowledge him and everything, there is nothing he won't do for you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I am praising God over that. That's an awesome testimony. Just showing God's greatness and how much he loves us and how much he always wants the best for us. Don't settle. Why should we? God Amen. is able to do all things. I'm talking to myself. Y'all, I know y'all listening to what I'm saying, but I'm talking to myself. This morning. Woo! Ah, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Are you listening, Austin? All right. Now I know you got this. God, mm, that's all right. Thank you so much for sharing that. That encouraged my heart. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's worthy, church. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. And we don't serve him because of what he, he can do for us. We should serve him because he's worthy of our praise. God is not a genie. Yes, he does bless us, but when we praise him from our heart, and are sincere in our worship, there is nothing he won't do for us, nothing. I'm a witness to that, I'm a witness to that. There's nothing. Thank you so much for sharing. I needed to hear that. God bless you, Robin. Thank you for ministering to my heart this morning. God bless you, God bless you. Anyone else would like to share? Oh, go right ahead, Minister Gail. God bless you, sis, hon. God bless everyone and good morning to everyone. Yeah. I First, I just want to thank God that he is, he is, mm, you know, <laughs> he is letting us know that he, our prayers are not in vain, Amen. that he is, is answering our prayers. And, and I, I'd like to share also, I, I shared with Rhonda, the elder Rhonda, that my son had sent me a text on November 24th. And he said, John 17, 1 through 13 came to me in my sleep. And I just thank God. I said, well, I have to go read it some. I just thank God because that's what we've been doing. You know, our prayer list, we've been just praying that God, that, you know, at, yes, I said that, it, that God would show up, that, that, that everyone would hunger and thirst after his righteousness. And, and you know, to go back to, to how we, we brought them up up you know to, to go back to it once they're grown and yes. and I just thank God for what he's doing and in, in all of our lives individually and collectively I just thank him praise and glorify his holy name in the name of Jesus. thank you Lord thank you Jesus. thank you Jesus thank you Jesus yes 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 amen he hears it's just it's, it's God's timing that's what is it we just can't lose faith because God is true to his word as, just, as the sermon this morning is, I give you my word. Yes, God, if God said it, you can bank on it. It will come to pass. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's worthy, y'all. He's worthy. Yes, he truly, truly is worthy of our praise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Anyone else would like to share this morning? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Lord. But we're going to continue on with our service. I got my dessert, and I all I, you know I, I like to eat my dessert first. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to eat the meal right now as we're going to turn this service over to our um, pastor. But I know I um, I will be playing a song this morning um, before the word of God. Sit back. I hope you have your your forks and knives this morning to feast on God's word. Amen. Amen.
Finding myself at a loss for words And the funny thing is, it's okay The last thing I need prayer um, before the word by our elder, Earlene Stewart. Amen. Thank you, um, Sister Jackie. Hallelujah. Lord, I lift my hands and praise and worship to you, Lord, this morning. Oh, God, that's all we can do, Lord, for you're so good. You're so gracious. Hallelujah. You're so kind. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Oh God, we just thank you for your love and for all you are to us and all you mean to us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, hallelujah, for the service so far, Lord. Hallelujah for the testimonies of healing, oh God, deliverance. Oh God, we just thank you for you're a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve, yes. hallelujah. Yes. And we continue, oh God, to, to, to be strengthened, oh God, by, oh God, your power, and we thank you, Lord. And, and as we come this thank morning, you, oh God, to, to the table to feast on yes, your word, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We are hungry, Lord. Hallelujah. We are hungry, oh God, for thank your you. word. We pray, Lord, that as Pastor John comes before us yes, to Lord. share your word, that you would be with him, oh God. Yes, oh God, just anoint him. Oh God, let your word, hallelujah, just sink deep within our hearts, oh God, that we may be filled, oh God, and that we may go out, oh God, to do your perfect will. Lord, we thank you today, and we pray for each one, oh God, on this line. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for all that has been said and done thus far, bringing us to the point of the service we can ask God to please receive all that we have done, the singing of songs, the reading of scripture, the testimonies that have gone up to bless his name. 
that it all be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my God, in Jesus' precious name. And as the word this morning tells us, I give you my word. The word of God, what a valuable asset that we have is his word. Um, you know, in the day in which we're living, <clears throat> you know, there was a time when they say that uh, uh, a man is only as good as his word. And what that really means is you're putting your word forth where people can trust you. I think we heard two Sundays ago about, uh, about trust. And once again, this leads us into an area of uh, our human nature that needs to be worked on, which is trust. And once again, God gives us his word and opens up to us all kinds of things. His word is so deep and so broad, but, um, but he gives us pieces of himself. And that's why we have all of the different things that we see and have today. It's because of God's word. And there was another time, uh, uh, another uh, phrase was used for trust with a handshake. Uh, you know, uh, no one signed contracts. They just shook your hand because they knew that you were a man after your own word. You would do it, complete it, and the handshake would, would seal the deal. You didn't have to sign your name on a dotted line. Your handshake meant something. It doesn't mean anything today. Everybody brings a piece of paper or a pen and paper. You got to sign that you received the money. You got to sign when you want some work done because the, your word now, or not maybe not your word, but people's word is not being regarded as being worth anything anymore. That's because there's so much corruption in the world. Man has sunk to a level where everybody's looking over their shoulder. Everybody is uh, uh, wondering whether or not you're going to get ready to take advantage of them. And we see that and hear that constantly because of all this technology. There's so many ways for the crook to get to your personal information, it just lends itself to being more uh, security conscious. Every, your house, you as a person, all of these different things, once again, it's because of man, not God. It's because of man. And that happened a long time ago in a place called the Garden of Eden. I'm just going to read this. Now, everybody knows what happened. That's, that's what, what I'm going to get to. But what I want to get to in the garden is what God is putting forth in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. It states, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And so what is God talking about here? This is the first reference to what God is going to do to redeem man back to himself. This verse contains the first implicit promise. Remember now, it's his word. His word is his promise of God's plan of redemption for the world. It predicts the ultimate victory for humankind and God over Satan. And evil by prophesying of a spiritual conflict between the seed, the seed of the woman, that's the Lord Jesus Christ and the seed of the serpent. That's Satan and his followers. God promised here that Christ would be born of a woman and would be bruised. That bruising comes through the crucifixion. Yet he would rise from the dead to completely destroy through that bruising Satan, sin, and death for the sake of the salvation of the human race. His word was given. God made a promise. From the very beginning of history, the human race has been bound to God through belief in and obedience to his word as absolute truth. Life through faith and obedience is presented as the governing principle in Adam's relationship to God in Eden. Adam was warned that he would die 
if he transgressed God's will and ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. This threat of death had to be accepted by faith based on what God said, since Adam had not yet seen death. God's command was given to Adam as a moral test, a moral test. It placed before him a conscious, deliberate choice to believe and obey his, excuse me, and obey or disbelieve his creator's will. A moral choice. Where have our morals gone today? Our morals are hard to find in this day in which we're living because man is out to do whatever makes him feel good to do. And it's gotten so bad that God has said, okay, you want to do all of these immoral activities, then I will turn you over to that immorality so that you do things even more disgusting than you did before. Because God gets into a place where he has tried to give us his word and we have refused to accept it. When you refuse to accept the word of God, then he takes it from you. He takes from you all of what the word of God is all about. But in John chapter 1, starting at verse 1 through 5, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without, <coughs> excuse me, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. This is Jesus. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The darkness couldn't take the light over. The light takes away the darkness, but the darkness can't take away the light. That's what that means. Darkness couldn't comprehend the light. It couldn't take advantage of the light. It couldn't take the light out. That's why even when the, the doctors thought that it had the victory through Jesus dying on the cross, it looked like darkness was able to conquer light. But when Jesus rose from the dead, light sprung back up again and darkness had to flee away. And it's been that way ever since. You can't put out the light of Jesus. It's impossible. His word is too much, to his word is too much power in the light. John the Baptist begins his gospel by calling Jesus the word. The word was manifested to us. It was brought to life. The word was brought to life through Jesus Christ. Jesus is God's mouthpiece on the earth. And he's our uh, advocate in heaven. He's our word in heaven. He's our advocate in heaven. Talks to the Father for us in our behalf. Pleads our case to Jehovah in our behalf. And using this designation for Christ, John presents him as the personal word of God and indicates that in these last days, God has spoken to us in his son. God has spoken to us in his son. Everything that Jesus said, the father is the one who's put it to him to tell us. That's why Jesus was telling us, I can't do anything of myself. I can only do what the father shows me. I can only do what the father tells me. He doesn't do anything separate from the Father. And all he tells us is the truth. All he tells us is the truth. In the last days, God has spoken to us in his son. Scripture, de declares, scripture declares that Jesus is the manifold wisdom of God. And we get that from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. <clears throat> manifold wisdom of God. First Corinthians, I'll read 29 too. First Corinthians 
chapter 1, verses 19 and 20. I thought I had it marked, but I don't. Please forgive me. It'll give you time to find it also. At 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 9. I have it down marked as 9, no, 29 and 30. And what does this say? This says that no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him are in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. What the word has done is present itself to us and given to us wisdom. We don't have anything of ourselves. We don't have any wisdom or righteousness or any kind of sanctification of ourselves. This is given to us by the word, by Jesus Christ. And that's what God wants us to understand that through Jesus's crucifixion and resurrection and through choosing the lowly things of this world, God nullifies the esteemed things of this present age. God is now in the process of bringing humanistic philosophies, psychologies, and all these otherworldly systems to an end. Because these are all manifold, uh, these are all things that are manifested by man, not by God. These things, these philosophies, these things to try to help us out, to understand how we think, why are you crazy? and how to make you sane again, as opposed to t talking to God. See, man, once again, back in the garden, when they were deceived by the enemy, Satan said, you know, you could be gods unto yourselves. You can govern yourselves. And you see what governing ourselves has led us. Um, we kill each other. We uh, hate each other. We do all of the things that are totally opposite of what God is. The word gave us love, peace, joy, understanding, and, and we, we toss that away for being judgmental or being hateful by seeking revenge. And so you see where we go with this stuff. When we try to make decisions and go in the direction that we want to go into, we've left God out of the equation. And when we do that, it's just like when they took the uh, Bible reading, scripture reading out of schools. And what did that do? That took young people to another level of um, not just hatred for one another, but also hateful for authority. You know, uh, teachers getting beat up by, by children. So they don't just attack each other. They attack the authority of the school system. You see, so all of these things lead us away from what is right when we leave God out of the equation. Jesus, God also says in the perfect revelation of the nature and person of God, just as a person's words reveal his or her heart and mind, God does the same thing. His word tells us about his heart, about his mind. These are the things that God wants to reveal to us about his heart and mind. And that is love, peace, and joy. Love your enemies. See, we don't want to hear that. Love your enemies. We want, we want justice and judgment on our enemies. The words relation to the Father, Christ was pre-existence with God before the creation of the world. He was a person existing from eternity. We know this. The, the uh, gospel teaches us this in um, John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. There's no discounting that. You can't get around it, even though man tries. You can't get around Everyone's trying to figure out, well, if... Um, God created all this wonderful thing. Who created God? God is saying, I was always. I was always. But in man's small mind, he's trying to figure out, well, you must have come from someplace. And they're trying to figure out, well, where, was that? where is that place? And God is trying to get through to us that he has always been. And that's why it comes by faith and not by sight. And that's why it's so hard for man to understand bridge that gap of understanding it is because once again we don't want to believe in the word and that word is jesus christ amen the scripture of ephesians chapter 3 verses 4 through 11 well 
Let me go into Hebrews. I'm sorry, I skipped Hebrews. Hebrews chapter one, verses one through three. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, right? In the Old Testament, the prophets came to the chosen people to tell them what God was saying, what God wanted them to do. He spoke through Moses, right? Um, and that was how things were at that time. Hath in those last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he also made the world. Well, at one time that was okay, speaking through the prophets. But now t God takes it up a notch and says, all of those things, uh, these verses establish a major theme of this epistle in the past. God's revelations and prophetic word came literally in divers manners. That means in many ways, many different prophets, right? In the Old Testament. The sum total, which is our Old Testament, like I just said. Yet all this did not add up to the fullness of what God had to say. God was giving out pieces of information to the prophets to tell to his people. Now, remember now, this is just to the chosen people, the Jews who were chosen. The Gentiles are not in the picture at this point of salvation, salvation. But that's yet to come. Because the word made a promise. Way back in the Garden of Eden, he made a promise to mankind of what he was going to do. But now God has spoken or revealed himself to us by his son, Jesus Christ. In a full and complete way, because Christ is supreme over all things, God's word through him is full. It's final, complete, and transcends all previous words by God. Talking to the prophets. When Jesus spoke, it was complete, all of what he had to say to us when Jesus was on the earth. You remember when the disciples asked Jesus, why do you speak to them in parables? He says, it's given to them in parables, but to you it's given straight up as to what this means. Because the, the Gentiles were not yet brought into salvation. And, and the crowds didn't just have Jewish people, they had Gentiles also listening to Jesus. Because once again, we were all humanity. Remember what I read? Um, from the beginning of history, the human race has been bound to God through belief. Well, the Gentiles did not have anything. And when Jesus started speaking to them about these profound things, dealing with heavenly places and, and who God is and what God is about, they were spellbound by it. The, the Jews took it, you know, what, what is he talking about? But the, gen, the Gentiles were eager, feasting off of what Jesus was saying, because he was revealing everything, both to the Jew and to the Gentile. But the Gentiles were more ready to receive it than the Jews who were supposed to know who Jesus was. In Psalm 119.11, God says, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee, David uh, states. Your, his word, God's word, has to be hidden inside of you, not just from lip service, not just from singing songs, which are wonderful, not just from reading scripture, which is wonderful, but it's got to be from the heart. Now, the Bible tells me that out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So the word of God has to be in you. That's why it's so important to have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost would be within you. It would speak through your heart that heart would bring it forth through your mouth, the things of God. And, you know, it would remind you of things. The Holy Ghost will remind you of the word, of the word. Because if you truly love God, you want to stay in the word. What does the word have to say? Whenever we want to do something, but what does the word have to say? And we look back to find out what the word has to say so we don't error. So we don't walk contrary to the word. See, once you get close to God, you don't want to walk contrary to the word. You want to stay close to God and what God has to say. <clears throat> in 
in everything, in every area of our life, the physical, the spiritual, the mental, we have to turn ourselves all over to God, not just some of ourselves, but all of it, 100%. And it's for sometimes uh, it's a hard thing for us to do, especially when you've been accustomed to doing something one way and now you're being presented something another. But what you have to find out for yourself is, well, what does God's word have to say? Never mind what I'm saying to you. What does God's word have to say? Proverbs 30 and 5 says, every word of God is pure. Every word of God is pure. That means every word of God is right. So if there's something in there that you would disagree with, then it's not God that's wrong. It's you. It's me. And so what do, you, what do you do with that? Well, then you have to talk to God and ask God for help to overcome. Because, see, we are the ones with the sinful nature, not God. When God was, came into this world and took on a earthly flesh, he took on earthly flesh without sin. Big difference between us and God in that respect. Big difference. Because we fight against the word of God. We fight against that purity. We fight against that truth. And it's, it, what, we're, what we're fighting against is our own sinful nature to want to go our own way. In some cases, it's not always, but it's sometimes. Like we will agree with God 95% of the time. Then all of a sudden, there's one thing that comes up that we disagree with God about. One thing we want that God says no to. Well, the fight is on. Well, who's right here? Is God right or is it you? God's word is pure. It's honest. He tells it like it is. He told Jeremiah that you're not going to get married. Well, of course, you know, Jeremiah didn't get married. But once again, what would that mean to you? The fight is on, right? The fight is on, especially when you want to. But God knows better than we do what's best for us, even in marriage, to marry or not to marry. The Word of God tells me also, Paul is saying that if you can't contain yourself, it's better to marry than to burn. But will you marry just anyone? Your, it's your life. It's your life. You know, you can be bad all by yourself. You don't need help being bad. And, and so once again, God is trying to get us through his word to understand. Above all things, Solomon said, above all things, get understanding of God's word. He presents it to us. We read it. We struggle with it sometimes. Other times we, we read it and we just love what it has to say. As long as we are in agreement with it, we love it to death. But if there's something that comes up, we fight it. But then you have a means to be able to get what God wants you to get out of his word so you can walk in truth. Amen. He wants you to walk in truth at all times. At all times. Because it doesn't do you any, or it doesn't do you any profit not to walk in truth. Honesty. As that, that phrase, honesty is the best policy. Honesty. God wants us to be as he is. God never told and cannot tell a lie. Can't do it. So whatever, God, whatever comes out of the word is, is got to be the truth. When he was before Pontius Pilate, Jesus told Pilate, whoever is of the truth heareth my voice. And then Pilate goes and says, well, what is truth? Truth was standing him, st staring at him, and he still didn't get the truth. He still didn't understand the truth. You know, how about you? It could be right in your face and you still don't understand what God is talking about. And that's mainly because you don't want to understand. You want to go and do things your own way. You want to solve the issue your own way. Um, with any means necessary, as opposed to we go to prayer for a lot of folks doing a lot of things for health for guidance and for direction. But then why aren't you coming to God with your issue? Don't you know that God has a way to be able to help you in all things? 
It's in all things, church, all things. It's not just in getting well. It's in all things. So God wants us, as he tells us what his word has to say about himself, talks about us, about Jehovah, about God, talks to us about himself, talks about a place that he has prepared for us, a place that he's getting ready to go to. And he said, if it was not true, I would not have told you. But I go to prepare a place for you that where I am there, ye may be also. And he says, the, the way you know. Now, once again, he's, he's talking to his disciples now. And he says, the, the way you know. Jesus said, already, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. And so when he says to his disciples, you know the way, Philip says, well, show us the way. <laughs> God says, uh, you know, I am the way. Show us the Father, and, and, and it'll suffice us. And, and Jesus is repeating to him. Do you don't know that the Father is in me and I am in the Father? All this time I've been with you, Philip, you have not understood what I was saying. So you can see sometimes we have difficulty, even though we hear the truth, even though we're, they were walking with the truth, sleeping with the truth, eating with the truth, and they still had difficulties understanding what Jesus was saying, the word. That's why you have to constantly pray and ask God for the understanding of his word. God gives us signs, dreams. A lot of times I know I get them. I don't understand what was that, Lord. I need understanding. I, I don't understand. It's, I, it's some uh, uh, a lot easier to understand and some of them have so much going on in them it's like wow god what was that about but who has the answer god does he has the all of the answers for us he opens up our own mind to understand hidden secrets the the big secret that god hid from the jews was the fact that the gentiles were going to be part of this family that's right the gentiles those heathens that's right they're going to be your brothers. And we're all going to live together in my kingdom. One big happy family. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. But there are things that have to be done first. I have to fulfill scripture. I have to fulfill the word, which I am. And sometimes when, when you try to understand, he's talking about himself. And he's, and he's also talking about what he's saying. And we have it here on paper. It's like, well, you see, that, that's how intense God is. He's, he's so reveals himself in such ways that sometimes we try to, see, we try to figure it out. A lot of times don't try to figure it out. Just believe what God is saying. That, that's all he wants us to do is just believe what he is saying. Because if you try to analyze it and try to figure it out, you will still be analyzing and trying to figure it out. Those that don't want to believe or understand, the scholars of the day, the uh, so-called brains, they don't understand because they're trying to decipher it the only way they know how, through education. You will not find God through education. You'll find it through just pure, simple belief. Believe in the word of God. Romans chapter 10, verse 17 says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Your belief, faith comes by hearing the word of God and then doing it, living it, living it to its fullest. So many of us, God, his, his creation is, we're living below our privilege. Do you not realize the kind of privilege we have being made in the image and likeness of God Almighty? My Lord, we have been so deceived by the enemy. We look at each, uh, at what we don't have, or we think we need to do something to ourselves to make ourselves look better. When God says, you are per uh, perfectly and wonderfully made. You're made in my image and in my likeness. A and so the, the devil is just after us at all times, in all ways to try to discredit us. 
But if we would walk in the light as he is in the light, I declare to you, you will start getting revelation upon revelation, truth upon truth, not only of who God is, but about who you are. I know many times you might have asked yourself, why am I here? What is my purpose? What am I supposed to do? Uh, just grow up from being a baby to being an adult, uh, going to school, uh, getting a job, maybe get married, maybe have children, and then that's it? No, there's more to life than that framework that has seemingly been, been sold to us. God has us here for many different purposes and reasons. Main reason for us being here is to glorify him. That's right, to glorify him, to glorify him in all kinds of ways. If you don't know what that is, then you need to find out for yourself. Don't you want to glorify God? Look around you. Look at yourself. I mean, look at your hands. Look at your feet. Look at you. I mean, man cannot create a man. Now, I know that we have children. I'm not talking that way, but, you know, from the beginning, you know, we're just too intricate. We're, we're, look at yourself. Look how intricate you are. And how wonderful you could be if you would allow God to show you. Don't let the world tell you who you are. Let God tell you who you are in his sight. Will you do that? He's given us, God has given us the word so that we can prosper. Not just materially but spiritually. Will you be willing to prosper in Jesus' name? God bless your souls. I pray you receive something from the lesson this afternoon. I give you my word. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And now we're going to have our prayer and benediction by our Elder Roy Stewart. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Thanking you, Lord, for the words that, that have been brought forth and broken before us by uh, Pastor John. And Lord, we pray that the words that were spoken, that they would take root in our hearts, Lord, and bring forth harvest in the name of Jesus. Let it fall on fertile ground. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And Lord, as we now prepare our hearts to leave this service, Pray, Lord, that you will continue to be with us and watch over and keep us, Lord, even in the coming week and the days ahead. And even as we enter into the last month of this year, that you will cause us to begin to think of and meditate on all that you've done these last 11, 12 months. And we prepare our hearts and strength, Lord, to enter into a new year. In Jesus' name. Now, Lord, be with us this day. Continue, Lord. Bless our households. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.
Satan tries his best to block it. But there's no power on earth that can stop it. His word continues to march on as then as today. He is the eternal God who never ages, who never changes. We thank God for his presence today in our service. And I pray that you were blessed by what you've heard. And I pray that God continue to bless you throughout the day, 
those who are able to stay with us for prayer and for fellowship, please continue to stay after the service. If not, as I said, have a blessed day in the Lord and don't forget to read your word. Once again, thank you all for coming. God bless you. Amen. God bless everyone. Amen. Thank you all for coming. We cannot thank you enough for your support. Love you guys. Nice seeing you, John. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. God bless your souls. Thank you all. Again, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. Good to see you all. Hey there, Lindsay and Andre. God bless you guys. How you feeling, John Jr., um, McBride? I feel a little better. Amen. <laughs> we're praying for you there. All right. I'm glad you were able to stick out during the service. It's, it's very difficult when you're not feeling well, when you're in pain. But I thank you for, for, for your um, perseverance through it all. Mm -hmm. Amen. Love you guys. Thank you, thank you, Rachel, for coming. God bless you, hon. Thank you, Shawana, always, and Sister Misi. Cousin Carolyn and PA, God bless you, hon. Hope all is well. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Letitia. Hope all is well with you and the family. Hey, Mies. Thank you, Gloria. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Anyone before we um, part? Thank you. Thank you. Anyone before we part have a prayer request? Uh, you can just say pray for me. That's all. Put your prayer request in the chat box. Um, we do have our elders here who are always willing to pray for you. Amen. 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 Anyone would like to give their heart to Christ? What a wonderful opportunity to do so. That's open and offered to you as well. To give Christ your heart. For truly he is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Oh, yes. Okay. Got you, Sister Misi. Special prayer for her father, Misi. Thank you for sharing that. Amen. Will do. Continue to pray for me. As I said earlier, I am feeling um, better each day, and I thank him for that. I, pre I appreciate that. Yes, Cousin Carolyn there in Pennsylvania, always on our prayer, in our prayers, I should say. We'll definitely do that. Carolyn Wayfield. God bless you, hon. Aunt Judy, we're praying for you. <laughs> Love you. Amen. Thank you, God, for all the testimonies, for touching my heart this morning, encouraging my soul. God is listening. He is in prayer answering God. Amen. Yes. We Amen. God bless. <laughs> Amen to that, right? <laughs> Amen. Edward Parker. Regina, Regina Parker. Amen. Amen. Yes, we will lift them up in prayer. And those names that I see in the prayer box, I will definitely add to our prayer list, which continues to grow. But isn't it great? Isn't it awesome that God, oh man, he, he has a long list. It's the universe <laughs> on his list. And he's able to meet each and every one of those prayer requests. God bless. Mr. Jackie? Yes, um, yes. Davis. Sister, Sister Davis, I was looking for you this morning. Oh, I didn't come on this morning. I'm very depressed. Oh. Um, such a good day before Thanksgiving. I heard that my niece, she went for tests and now she got oh, pancreatic cancer. Oh. Okay. Um, All right. Well, you're, you're, I'm glad you were able to come in on at this time. The elders are here. We will pray. We will pray. I also, I'll have Pastor John give you a call later, but please stay on the line. Thank you. Thank you.
you very much. Yes, stay on the line, please, as we have prayer for Sister Davis, please. Okay, your your niece. Okay. Oh my Lord, I'm Mr. Jesus. <laughs> oh Lord, I'm telling yeah. you. Uh, lift her up and lift her up, Lord. Strengthen her in Jesus' name. Right. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to ask. Um, whoo, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to ask our Elder Erling Stewart to lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Precious Heavenly Father, oh God, yes, Jesus. we come to you once again, Lord. Hallelujah. You said, Lord, that we can come to you at any time, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Come to you in the morning, in the noonday, at the evening hour. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes. For the blessed privilege to come before your throne of grace, yes, to Lord. come before your throne of mercy. Yes. And as we've heard testimonies, Lord, how you have heard and you hear our humble cry. Jesus. We come, oh God, hallelujah, with more requests. Oh God, we can't request enough. Oh God, hallelujah. Because you, oh God, hallelujah, are God of power. You're a God of might. Yes. And we bring, oh God, these, oh God, your saints before you. Jesus. Oh God, we call them name by name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Sister Regina Parker, oh Jesus. God. Sister Jesus. Davis's niece, oh Jesus. hallelujah, bless her in the Jesus. name of Jesus. Jesus. Let your power be mighty Jesus. and strong in her life in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We pray for Junior LaBrie, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let yes, your Lord. power reign in Jesus. his life. Hallelujah, oh, God, hallelujah. John McBride. Jesus. Touch him right now, Lord. Hallelujah. Right now, Lord. Touch him. Touch him. Touch him right now, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray for Mises' father. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch him. Touch him, Lord. Hallelujah. Touch him. Thank you. With your arms you. of mercy and care. We pray Hallelujah. for Carolyn Wakefield. Bless Jesus. her. Keep her. Oh, God. Hallelujah. In, Hallelujah. Your care. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Jesus. Oh, God, for Sister Judy. Yes. Be with her. Strengthen her, oh, God. Yes. Hallelujah. We pray, oh, God. In the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Yes. Those, oh, God, we have called before you. Oh, God, build them up where they are weak. Oh, God, where they're torn down. Just build them. Hold them up with your Hallelujah. right hand, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. For well, there's healing, oh God. There's deliverance, oh God. There's salvation, oh God, in you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we pray, oh God. Hallelujah. Give them the strength, Lord, oh God, just to reach up and touch you. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord. We know, Lord. Hallelujah. You're a God. Hallelujah. That can heal. That can do anything yes, oh god yes, hallelujah oh god as the testimonies went forth today oh god of your miraculous yes, love and your yes, miraculous yes, healing lord we yes, know oh god we're serving a god yes, hallelujah yes, who hears oh god we're serving a god hallelujah oh god not like other gods oh god hallelujah have ears but they don't hear oh god hallelujah but you hear us and we thank you lord we thank Thank you for the victory. We thank you for the victory in each of these lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus and for your sake and for your honor and for your glory. Lord, we thank you now, oh God, for what you're going to do, what you have done for us in Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's in Jesus' name. It's in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Your name. Your name. Your name. Your name. There's power in your name. Oh, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Power. There's power. salvation power. in your name. Power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In all things, we give thanks, Lord. 
In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God. Praise your name. Oh yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus name. Praise your name. Praise your name. Praise your name. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name we praise and we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, there is so much in praising God. So much power. He, yes. <laughs> power in the name. Is, yes, there is. There is power Just in, in praise. In, in praise, there's oh, power. Oh, yes, there is. Hallelujah, yes, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah, is. hallelujah. Yes, it is. Hallelujah, yes, it is. Hallelujah, praise your name. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name. God bless you. He's worthy. He is worthy. To be oh, my. I have so much to say. We have wind up having a second service. I enjoy the fellowship after yes, the service yes, and the prayer, yes. the power of prayer. I tell you, woo, oh. it's like medicine. Hallelujah. It's, it's like, a, it's like as, as the psalm says, as, as the, 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 the oil that flowed down, you just let it just from head to toe just envelop you. Oh, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I thank him. I thank him. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank thank you for the you. prayer. Thank you for the power. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the sweet fellowship. Yes. Amen. Sweet fellowship and the prayer. Amen. Amen. And the Amen. unity. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, can, it's priceless. It's priceless. Mm -hmm. Priceless. Yes, it's price. There so is great. no, there's nothing. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. God is awesome. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. First, hallelujah. First lady, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. First Lady Jackie. Yes, Lord. Lord. Some of the songs that y'all played in the beginning of the service before it started. Uh-huh. Some of those same songs I was listening to on Saturday, having fellowship with the yeah. Lord. And <laughs> I just, I just, I just, um, I don't know. I just can't explain how excited I get when I realized that God was with me yesterday and on one accord with me. That was one accord. I said, Lord, some of the same songs I was having church all by myself yesterday. That's all right, man. That's all I right. I was telling the Lord that I really want to spend time with him, you know, because, you know, when you're a prayer warrior, you got to put your time in. So I said, I said, Lord, later, for, you know, don't, I don't want to focus later on the Lord. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I'm talking to a lot of other stuff. I want to spend time with Jesus. And when some of those same songs was played today that I played yesterday, I said, Lord, what can I say? <laughs> God I'm, just, glory. I'm just ecstatic. Oh, that's that's to, God, that to God be the glory. No, we know there's no such thing as coincidence. That's not in our vocabulary. <laughs> God is awesome. I think. Thank you for that. What it means. That, oh, coincidence. That means what? To just be happening out of no, no purpose, no reason. Things just happen because they happen. But no, as God, God plans everything. So, mm -hmm. um, things always God happen be the glory. for reason. Precious, yes. glory. <laughs> things always happen for a reason. That's right. God, <laughs> God makes things happen no matter what. Amen. So true. Thanks, cuz. <laughs> Thanks for that, Cynthia. For that touched my heart. Yeah. To God be the glory. Yes. To God yes. be the glory. Always. Amen. Amen. Anyone else Amen. would like to share during this little fellowship? Praise God for the prayer. Woo! Powerful prayer. All Amen. during the services. <laughs> Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes all the prayers anyone mm -hmm. would like to share at this time this little family time um i just thank god for being here amen, mm -hmm. amen. no thank one you. else yeah, go ahead Cole. go ahead sis uh can you mm -hmm. hear me am i muted or unmuted oh you're unmuted well i just want to thank god again for the zoom family but also for our bio biological family and how god knows how to put everybody back together yeah again. yeah yeah. And it's for his purpose and for his glory. Yes, it is. I was listening to a series of sermons I had gotten a long time ago by T.D. Jakes. And it's the series is called Nothing Just Happens. That's mm -hmm. all. I remember that one. Yes, that's Amen. for sure. And it's so true. Nothing just happened. All of this is God ordained. Oh, and I oh definitely. It. Amen. Definitely. Amen. Definitely. And I want to thank God for um, my cousin Cynthia, our sister Cynthia, her <laughs> her family. Oh, dear Lord, I thank God for Robin holding on to that plumb line as we continue to fast and pray. Oh, Father, da, 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 Father, God in Jesus' name. Yes, you know, yes. that, that moment and that time when it's going to just connect and there'll be no more pain. Hallelujah. Yes. No yes, more pain, yes, oh yes, Father yes, God. But yes. how she's able to lift up the name of Jesus. Yes, and you'd never yes. know what she's going through yeah. if she wasn't testifying about it. Yes. Amen. What a soldier. Oh, yes, Father God, yes, in Jesus' yes, name. Yes, yes. And I also want to lift this up. If everybody can see that beautiful painting mm -hmm. hanging on my wall, our Pastor John painted that painting. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, well. Amen. And years ago, <laughs> I, I know I stifled him. He was trying to get that out several services ago. <laughs> Amen. But it says, let another man praise you. <laughs> you there you go. It today, and he will never, ever get it back. Amen. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Put it in the will. Put it in the will. <laughs> 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 I, one of the gifts the lord has given me is the shekinah glory if i close my eyes and lord when i if i look into that painting how he has highlighted around christ and god's glory ha, da, 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 yes lord yes lord emanate hallelujah from that painting oh how god shows himself to us that people would only come to realize how close he is and how much he loves us yes care for and about us thank you. amen thank you and nothing escapes him no hurt no sorrow and he knows how to mend it all yes oh amen. he just keeps drawing us closer and closer and yes. closer to him Oh, hallelujah Ah, da, 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 glory to God. Thank glory you. to God. Thank you, Amen. Let me stop. Hallelujah. I thank God. <laughs> thank you. Amen. It continues on the next page. Amen. <laughs> thank God for Minister Gail. Praise the Lord. I thank God for what the Lord is manifesting in her life. Hallelujah. And how he's blessing us to grow in leaps and bounds together. Amen. With Along with all of you. 
but I know what he's doing with Cynthia. Um, well, Cynthia too, Cynthia, Gail and I. To God be the glory. Yes. I thank yes. God for how he's touched you, uh, little sis. Amen. We've been praying for you, crying out yes. to God. Yes, thank you. Because you do a heavy job and ask the Holy Ghost to continue to help with the uplifting of that job. Amen. Oh, it's not an easy job, but God, I know it's making it easier for you. Yes. Amen. Yes. The Lord continue to strengthen you, strengthen you, strengthen you. Ha, da, 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 da. In his holy name. Amen. Amen. I see our wow, little princess you. sitting beside you and tell Chloe that Detective Joe and Detective um, Dave. Amen, Dave. Dave. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Chloe. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. And the, law, the Lord, Chloe, is putting out a job search for you at the <laughs> DA's office, Sugar Pie. So you help us <laughs> pray for you. Okay? <laughs> All right. Amen. Love you guys. Yes, love we, we love you too. too, Auntie. Thank everyone for being here and being part of, again, once again, I can't say it enough, of our service. All right? Yes, God um, bless. Sister Davis, I'm going to have Pastor John reach out to you. Again, and I do know that God is in control of all things. Yes, yes. God, God hears our prayers. Yes, he does. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory yes, he God. does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Love Amen. lifted me. Yes, it Amen. did. Yes, it when, did. When it nothing did. else matters, God loves lifted me. Amen. Amen. So That's all so it is. Man. Amen. Amen. Cup Some fish. good eats, good eats all day. Good eats. Oh, yes, yes. Amen. Good again. You have something to say? The she cuts over there in um Sumter? Nah, we're just getting ready to go. So I was going to tell everybody I love y'all and I loved all like hearing from y'all today. Yes, amen. Good to <laughs> have you guys. <laughs> good to have you. Yeah, we're glad we, we could we can attend every day no yeah. you know whenever the services come up even though yes. we're not actually there we're happy we still be here right? yeah it's so true god because god is amen. everywhere his presence amen. is as it was said we are the church amen um, so um take him wherever you go amen amen, amen. well i'm going to say i do <laughs> let's all here um be encouraged every one of you amen. as well and again, thank you, special thank you to you, Rachel, for sticking it out there and hanging with us. Yes. God Amen. bless you. Good to see you. Amen. See your name there. Amen. Lots of prayers going up for you as well. All righty. All right. God, God is good you. all the time. All the time. God is good. Amen. Signing off. Love everybody. <laughs> Love you all. Amen. Love you. All right. Peace. Peace. Peace like Power a river. Power and soul. Like Amen. a river. Amen. Peace, Amen. Like a river. <laughs> Peace like a river. Amen. God bless you. Uh, and as they say how sweet it is. Amen. <laughs> there you go. Love you, oh. sister lady. Oh, yeah. How sweet it is. <laughs> Till we Thank meet you. again. God willing. Amen. Yes. Till we meet again. <laughs>